Hi, I'm Hillary. Welcome to this little tutorial for two of my favorite poses. Um, one being Nadrasana dancer's pose and the other standing bow, which comes from a real traditional background of um, a Bikram style hot yoga. Um, very often it's, um, they are mixed up in class and I see that, but I'm not able to sort of guide uh, the difference between the two. Both are amazing, but this is gonna give you an opportunity to experience the difference. Um, this pose is ultimately a spine twist, a back bend, and it's balanced. So it's focus, which is the balance. The back bend is very energizing. The spine twist is detoxifying. So it's got all of these massive components, um, dancer's pose, but also standing bow, which is a little different focus. So I'll, I'll start with that. Okay. So coming in and, and what I will say, and we're not going to do a whole bunch of stuff before or nothing before, as a matter of fact, but you want to make sure that your thighs and your hip flexors are open. You want to make sure that you've done, um, you know, some vinyasas or a back bend of sort to open up. And you want to make sure you've done a twist because like I said, that's what this pose is about. So you don't just want to jump into it like at 6am and be like, I'm going to dance or bow because you, your body's probably not going to love you. Okay. So coming into a tall stance with your feet together. Typically we've done this pose. It's classically known a lot in the hot yoga style, which is in front of a mirror. So when you think about doing it in front of a mirror, you can understand the alignment that I might suggest. So if you're doing this right now with me, you might try and go in front of a mirror and, and sort of see what's happening. Okay. If not intuitively, just let your body guide you. Okay. So feet together, we'll start with Najarasana dancer's pose. Okay. Arms overhead, which is the classical Y hot peak pose. Okay. Palms meet at the top, bringing your right elbow in at your right waist. I like to think of it as a little shelf, dropping your palm down, bending your right knee, taking hold of your ankle from the inside. So right where the ankle bends, the middle fingertip is, that's where your best grip is. And then squeeze your thighs. The most common misalignment here is the palm drops down and then people turn and they take hold of the outside. Okay. Watch what happens. Palm down, inner ankle, as opposed to outer ankle. The reason why is you're able to keep the hips in one line, like head, like little hips. Okay. This is going to align your spine and also give you the spine twist. I like pointer finger and thumb knowledge and wisdom with the left. Okay. Keep the left leg strong. You can even have a slight little micro bend to the knee if you need. Okay. Be mindful not to lock. You might've heard that word before. Don't lock the knee. You want a little bend. Okay. Stretch up, get tall, guide your right hip bone forward and down. Let your right shoulder fall back. Okay. Stretching up and then start your kick. I call this like your little journey. So as you start to kick into your hand, keep guiding the right hip bone forward and down. Okay. Now, if there was a mirror in front of you, think of it as though your toe would be invisible behind you. Now, as you kick, this is your engine of the pose. The harder you kick, the easier the bounce. Okay, keep guiding your right hip bone down. And then I love the mantra, I can, I can balance. Okay, now as you kick, keep pushing the hip bone forward and take a breath. And then relaxing down, okay? So in the good old days, we'd hold that for like a minute. Typically you do this pose two times. The first one is about a minute and then the next one is about half the time. Okay. But for this tutorial, it's more just about alignment. Another option that you can do, and you might've um, been in classes that, um, your teachers had brought in the, the strap, or you might see other people doing it. The true dancer's pose, and I can't do it guys, but I'm going to give you the idea of what it looks like. Okay. So you would take the strap and Place it in like a little hook, okay? Feet together, okay? And then same thing, you're starting to kick and then your shoulder behind you as you lift up, okay? So you're lifting up and then finding that spot to focus on. So it's like your toes coming up above your head. With the strap, you can keep kicking. The idea is, is in a full dancer's pose, you would take your ankle behind your head and then lift up into a full dancer's. Okay. So I just wanted to give that as a 
little option. The other thing, and you can do this in the next pose that I'm going to show as well, is if you want to really give yourself a balancing option is you can use a block. Okay? You could stand up on the block for your dancers. Okay? I know some of you that are watching this used to do the closing class all the time, so the same thing would go. Arms above the head, right elbow into your right waist, drop your palm. Bend your knee, ankle inside. Okay? Stretch up, get tall, push your right hip bone forward, and then start your kick. Okay, so this is like just another layer of the onion of going a little bit deeper. Okay, so those are some options that you can do in your dancer's pose. Now, the alternative pose, I call it the brother and sister of this asana, is called standing bow. And it's a very common, it's not misalignment, it's that I don't think that there's an understanding in the way of what dancer's in, what bow is. So I want to really articulate this so that you can be successful in what asana that you're working towards, okay? So feet together, reach up, standing bow, okay? Arms above the head. Same thing, set up the same. Right elbow in at your right waist, drop your palm down, bend your knee, ankle inside, Right where the ankle bends, middle finger, squeeze your thighs, okay? Hips are straight. Now, you're gonna turn your palm towards me. Stretch up, get tall. Push your right hip bone forward and down, and then you're gonna start to kick. So it starts with the kick, 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 kick. Toe invisible behind you, okay? So similar to dancers, but with bow, you're gonna start to come down, 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 down. So middle fingertip points, ooh, right in between your nose and you're kicking up. Chin rests down on your shoulder, down, okay? The difference, if you look at me from the side, dancers is up, bow is down. What the common misalignment though is, is that I kind of get a little bit of this half-half, so they're kind of doing half in this and half in that. When you learn to commit to either going up and dance or going down and bow, you'll find this massive energy that is your balance, your focus, and you'll find that this is the most amazing pose ever, one of my favorites. That's why I wanted to give you a little tutorial on that. I hope you got something from that. Um, good luck in your practice. I love you, I miss you all, and uh, stay safe.